Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for joining me in the kitchen. Today is Tuesday. I know it's a taco Tuesday today, but you're in a Creole kitchen. You're in the kitchen with Angela. I'm Angela, this Creole Roots girl, and today I decided I wanted to show you how I'm gonna make some turkey wings. I have the turkey sections here, and I have the wing, as well as the leg part of the turkey, the drumette. So I'm gonna season it up. I'm gonna start off by putting it on top of the stove. I already have my pan heating up. I'm gonna season up my turkey parts. And after we pre-cook them on top of the stove, I'm gonna let them finish up in the oven uh, on 350, uh, about 375, and I'll let it finish cooking after I finish sauteing it over the top of the stove. So it's not gonna be Thanksgiving-ish. It's gonna sort of be like soul food-ish, but Creole style. I'm not gonna put really gravy on it or anything. I'm just gonna saute it on top of the stove in my pan. It's heating up real good. And then I'm gonna, like I said, finish it off in the oven. Thank you for joining my channel. You can subscribe, like, comment, and invite other people as well to my channel today. So I have my wings already cut into pieces. I'm gonna season them up pretty good because you know turkey, you gotta really season your turkey. So I'm gonna be, today I'm gonna be using my Creole seasoning, some adobo all purpose. This really doesn't have salt in it. So I'm going to season it up really good, give it that extra flavor. And I'm going to add some black pepper and Creole seasoning. I don't know what you guys are cooking today, what time you got off work, or if you're just still trying to get home from work to cook a meal. <coughs> Seasoning always makes me cough or sneeze, forgive me. But I do turn my head. So I'm gonna start putting some olive oil, you know, in my pan. And I have my black pepper, it's ready, it's ready to start. So, I'm gonna go ahead and add them in. I'm also gonna be adding some rosemary as well. And I'm gonna be adding some butter and garlic. So I'm gonna start by cooking them on each side. And then I'm gonna take the pan and bring it right into the oven, okay? So I'm gonna put my rosemary on. Let me wash my hands a little bit because I've been fooling with raw chicken or, you know, poultry. I've been fooling with raw poultry, so we're going to get my hands cleaned up. Then I'm going to go ahead and add my rosemary here. And we're going to finish it up in the oven. I already have my garlic and butter right here. And I made a soup the other day, so <clears throat> I'm just, you know, adding something else to it. It's a vegetable soup. This is some, I felt like eating turkey or something today. So I said I'd just make me a little turkey, you know, throw it in a... Uh, oven after I pan fry it on top of the stove first. 
Then throw it in the oven and let it finish up. Add me a little more olive oil to my pan. And I'm going to try to brown it on every side. And then we'll throw them in the oven. Yes, yeah, browning already. Of course, I'm going to add some moisture in here too. So I want, the, I want them to brown on every side. And then I'm going to throw them in the oven. Like I said, through between 350 and 375. You can cover them up, but since I'm already cooking them on top of the stove and I'm adding more moisture to it, it'll be fine. I'll let it cook an hour till it's falling off the bone. So since I'm not cooking a whole giant turkey, um, this will be a quick dinner too. I'm not really ready to eat yet, but I mean, I just love to cook, so... Somebody will eat it if I don't eat it. Someone will eat it. <laughs> so thank you again for joining me in my kitchen. This is Creole Roots Girl. And I learned today I can't hide my accent. I was on the phone with a customer. <laughs> and before we hung up, he said, Louisiana girl. I said, no, get it right. New Orleans girl. <laughs> And we talk, start talking about the saints, how he loved the saints. He was from Mississippi or somewhere. And uh, he was saying, that's his team, true and true. So you know I had to talk to him. Yeah, my meat is starting to brown up pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and flip these wings over a little again. And then I'm going to add them into the oven. So I just want to get them brown on every side. Then we're going to finish them off in the oven. I'm going to go ahead and add my butter. I have all kinds of herbs in my butter. You know, garlic and all that. So it's really going to be hearty. It's not going to be missing anything. The flavors are going to be great. I have my black iron frying pan. It's set on medium low because I don't want it to burn, but I want it to be browned on every side. And never crowd your pan when you're cooking meat because, like I'm saying, you don't want your meat to start steaming. It's not, we're not poaching any chicken. You don't want your chicken or your meat to steam because you need it to brown on every side. So, it's doing just what I want it to do. And you can eat sweet potatoes with this. You know, some people might want to add gravy to it and all that, but I'm not going to do that to myself. Uh, like I said, for health reasons, I could just go ahead, season this up real well, and put it in the oven. Let it finish cooking on top of the stove and then put it in the oven. So what I use today is I use the wing part of the turkey, section them off. I use Creole seasoning, adobo sauce, black pepper. Also, I use rosemary, and then I topped it off with a garlic and butter. And I'm just letting it you know, do his thing on top of the stove on all sides. And then I'm going to let it finish up in the oven. So thank you again for joining me. I'm Creole Roots. I'm going to have some more recipes. I also have some things that we're going to do trivia regarding New Orleans and our lifestyle in New Orleans. You could be a winner. So don't forget to subscribe to my page. You also are going to have to answer the question. You're going to have to prove to me that you actually subscribe to my page. And then there will be a winner at the end of the week. So you can win anything from a dinner for one or two. Up to a t-shirt, a cup, or anything like that. Even an apron. So just join me. Invite your friends. And I really appreciate you joining me today. This is going to be a... 
low key video. I just wanted to show you what I do in my kitchen, whether it's on a weekday or a weekend. I'm always doing something in my kitchen. I always got some kid or somebody coming over. My, what you got to eat? Because they know I'm going to feed them. So, I'm just here <coughs> enjoying what I do best. Thank you so much for joining me. And you can even comment, ask me questions. I'm also having my book come out. It's going to be in the kitchen with Angela. It's my cookbook. <clears throat> Creole style and uh you'll be there'll be some upcoming things you'll you'll know uh because i'm gonna let you know i'm gonna post it everywhere you can also check me out on instagram creole roots 47 you can check me out on facebook as well creole washington on facebook so just come on in like that page subscribe to my channel and i'm gonna have a lot of good eats for you okay so, um, I'm flipping over my, my chicken, well, my turkey, and uh, it's looking pretty good. I just wanted it to brown, and then I'm going to finish it up in the oven. Like I said, you can tint it with foil, but I'm going to let it cook <clears throat> for about an hour in the oven, let all those flavors get in there. And every once in a while, I'll check on it, baste it, you know, and keep it moving. So, thank you again for joining my channel. I really appreciate you guys. But I'm going to go ahead and get this in the oven. It's looking pretty good. Yeah, I wanted it to brown on every side, and that's what it's doing. It's looking really pretty, you guys. So if you have any dinner ideas, anything you want to see me cook, just inbox me. Let me know. You can even hit me up on Facebook or Instagram. I meal prep. I cook dinners for families. I do it all. So join me on my channel, and I appreciate you. Thank you again. You'll see the finishing touches after this video. Thank you. Bye now.